Black's challenge here is to save this group by cutting off white. So white must have some weaknesses in its shape. But again, these jumps individually are pretty solid. So if black tries these conventional moves, it will fail very easily. What's interesting is this wedging move by itself, right? If you connect it back, it's not going to work. But what's interesting is that you get to play this move for free, basically, because white now has to capture number one. Previously, we tried this move first, but if you play here first, then white can connect this cutting point, right? And you still cannot cut white off by using this number three wedge. So what I'm trying to say is that if you play this first, you get to play this point for free. And if white Ataris from this side, black can succeed very easily by cutting here. If white tries to connect this way, it will fail because black can now capture these two white stones. And if white connects here, black can push through and cut white off like this. So black can succeed after 1, 3, and 5. So if you're white, you should make it more difficult for black. That's why you need to play number two here. If you Atari here, again, black cannot connect. This will allow white to escape. But black will be able to play this move kind of for free, forcing white to capture number one. It's black's turn again, right? And black needs to find a move. There are not many choices, right? You play this and white can play this Atari then white will be able to connect like this. If you play pushing here, still doesn't work, right? If you cut, white can capture number seven like this. If you play this, this will be similar to the previous variation. So number five, pushing here doesn't work. This also doesn't work because white can play this. If you cut, then white will be able to capture these two black stones. If you play this, then it's Atari. So number five here will also fail. So these are not super difficult to eliminate. And you should be able to find this move as the correct move. Now white cannot connect. If white tries this, then black can play here, right? These two are secure and leaving white with two cutting points like this. So black can succeed this way. If white tries this, then black can play this move forcing white to connect, and now black can cut here. And white cannot capture number nine, and will be cut off like this. So number six here will also fail. Number six is here, then black can play this move. Now there are two cutting points, right? And once again, white cannot capture these three black stones. So white will be cut off like this. Lastly, if white plays here, then what black should do is play this move. This is a little more complicated. If white connects here, black can cut white off like this. If white plays the Atari, black can Atari as well, and cut white off like this with this. Now white cannot connect. The trickiest move is probably this one. If black cuts now, this will be a coat, right? So this is not optimal for black. If black pushes through here, this will be wrong. White can Atari and connect. So black needs to be a little careful and find the correct move. And that correct move is this one right here. So if white Ataris from this side, black can connect now, leaving white with two choices, 12 and 13. And it can only occupy one of them. If white Atari is here, right, capturing 5 and 7, black must connect here, white captures, and now black must come in and destroy this real eye. Otherwise, white will have two real eyes. And now, because white will have only one real eye at most, black should be able to win this race to capture very easily. You can try out the variations on your own and see by how many liberties black is able to win this race to capture so these are all the main variations gets a little complicated but one three and five should not be too difficult to find because the space is relatively narrow 
and the wrong moves are relatively easy to eliminate. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Good luck and thank you for watching.